Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to be styling my hair after doing my little diva cut at home or dry cutting, curl by curl method, whatever you want to call it, okay? And so man, yeah, we just gonna chit chat and get our hair popping, all right? Here. First off, welcome. My all the time subbies, congregation around gang, happy curl gang. Welcome back, sis, part of the video, okay. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be styling my hair <laughs> with my beloved Wet Line Extreme Gel. Y'all know this is everything. If you're new here, this is everything. Everything this is, okay, hey, mom. and mom. And it worked, you know, it works well. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Speaking of that, did y'all see power? Did y'all hear this is a big rich time? The new intro to power. It's just real. <sighs> I don't like it, okay? That's my point. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let me bust me out some coconut leave-in conditioner and detangler by Jamaica Mango and Lime. I've used this before in a video. Um, I like it, it's hydrating, it's easy to apply. I don't have any words. I do actually, I'm like, I don't know, power? Like, if you don't watch Power, then I'm gonna talk about it really quick, okay? Y'all know I don't be doing no, you know, get ready with me, talk, chit chat videos, but, you know, I got some things to say on today. And mom, you know, your girl watched Power. Now, if you don't watch Power, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a great show, very adult oriented, okay? <laughs> this ain't no, you know, family show, eh, mom? So, this is just for all my Power people, okay? We know that, you know, the, the intro is a very, you know, it's a very catchy intro. They say this is a big rich town. I just come from the poorest part. So if you watch it, you know that our beloved Joe. I just really feel like you have to be an R&B head, a singer, or whatever to know that Joe is just one of the most amazing male vocalists of our time. It's just, it's just what it is, okay? No debate, no debate. No, you know, this just that's just what it is, okay? Um, so me and my husband, we were excited for this. You know, we ready for season, whatever season it is. I don't know, season six, something like that. I don't know. We get ready, we get on our couch, we turn our, you know, our TV, we get our sound ready and all that good stuff. You know, we excited. This is like our thing, right? Tell me why Trey Songs. Which one of y'all? One, two, one, seven, yeah. If it ain't broke, Don't fix it. I, I had a problem. I and I'm, I was not the only one. People that follow me on Instagram, we be cutting up in the DMs because folks was mad just like me. And I said, sis, I get it. This is a problem. Why are we work? Why would you switch out with Joe? Joe, the man who's, I want to know what turns you on. I want to know that Joe. That one. Why would you? Why would you do that? You are really dumb, for real. More and more. Come on. Uh, who was in charge? Who made that decision? Who was sitting around the table? Okay, in the meeting. Okay, and and and, and, and had this uh, this idea. And who voted for this? Like, what is, what are y'all on? Like, I don't think any prayers were prayed. Like, y'all didn't get you know confirmation. <laughs> the Holy Spirit didn't speak. That was just that was a mistake. That was just a mistake. That just that was y'all don't do that. Spoiler alert. So if you ain't watched it, that, spoiler <laughs> alert. Spoiler. Alert. I'm, 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 I know Angela Trifling and you know, she a home wrecker and all that stuff. Ghost is too, cause it takes two, but hey mom, at the same time, I was a little upset, you know, that she was killed off. I wanted Angela to kind of stay around a little bit, not, not for who she is, you know? I, I can't really give you a reason. I just wanted her to stay around. Like, you know, I don't, I don't care for her, you know, like she a home wrecker or whatever. And now that she's gone, it's like, well dang, you know? Well. And I, I'll just say, I'm glad it was her and not Tasha. I'm just, Listen, I'm just saying, you know, Tasha got kids and stuff. And then another thing, like, I don't know if anybody else finds this quite odd. Maybe I'm just the only one. Cause maybe cause, you know, people like it's 2019, whatever, whatever. 
I don't know. The fact that this is a black family and the mouth on Tariq gets me every time. Like, I wish I would cuss to my mama, at my mama, with my mama. I just bleep. That's just not my life. I wouldn't have a life. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Every time he, he says them words with just authority, I'm just like, oh my God. Yo, your daddy is ghost. Like, he crazy. Tasha, you know, she she been in 3OW and you know, she had to deal with some things with her little group members and now she didn't came up living in the big city. Um, but she, she, you know, she, she not having that either. I'm like, we just gonna have this boy cousin. <laughs> just, he just, he just don't care. He don't like, I know it's just fictional, but just, just, just have a little fun with me right now. I just can never let my child get comfortable enough to cuss in, in my presence. So it's just weird that he just cussing at his, at his mama like that. Like, let that be big mama. I guarantee you he ain't gonna cuss in front of big mama. I know he not. Like, I know he's not gonna cuss in front of big mama. But he just got that cussing spirit on him. I'm like, what in the world? How is this okay? But I mean, I know it's like he don't have, you know, the, the best examples, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, someone looking from afar, I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> if that was me. <laughs> And can we talk about Lala? No. I just want to know what acting school did Lala go to? Like, just in case I want to start acting. Tell me what class, you know, she was taking, just so I can know. Every time she say something, I'm like, what? Ma'am, like, what class did you take? I just want to know. I just want to know. I think what sucks for certain people is the fact that, you know, when you have been doing something for so long and then you switch over to something else, like acting, you know, and you're known for something else, it's kind of hard for me to see her as whatever her name is. She not, she Lala. That's Lala. That's just what it is. Um, yeah, I ain't got time for that. Like, I don't. I'm gonna still watch, but I ain't got time for that, you know? Didn't they have three children? Why come? I said, why come? They started with three, and now it's only one. I know why Raina, you know, I know what happened with Raina. I do, I understand what happened with Raina. What happened to all the other kids that was on the show? They straight family mattered us, like. Don't worry about that part. Like it was Eddie, Laura, and Jody, or Jody, whatever her name was. And next thing you know, it's just Laura and Nettie. That's exactly what it was in power. Like, I'm the type of person, like, I need explanation. Like, you just can't just be throwing these, like, fastballs at me and just think, like, I'm not gonna notice. Like, if they did and I dismissed it, then somebody leave that in the comments. I just don't remember anything being said about the baby. Like, I thought it was 304. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I have that wrong. I know for a fact that it was a little sister up in there, that Raina had a little sister. I know for a fact she did. I know for a fact. Did she just go with the grandmama? Like, somebody let me know. I just have a lot of unanswered, you know, questions. And I just don't think it's fair because I'm loyal. You know what I mean? I think I deserve an explanation because I was a part of the family too. I'm over here yelling at Tariq every time he want to get sassy mouth and get a little, you know, little attitude and stuff with his mama and stuff. So I feel like I've been helping with the parenting and stuff like that. So for me not to know what happened to the baby is a little unfair in my book. Anyway, speaking of kids, my daughter is going to junior high or middle school. I called it junior high back in the day, but apparently it's middle school. And I'm not having the best, I'm just not happy about it. Like I'm, I'm not. I put this all on my Instagram stories. I have said this to people that I'm close with. I just, I'm not ready. I'm, a, I'm blessed to have a sweet and very caring and loving child, but no, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here for it. My blank end period, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here for it. Everybody's like, oh, you're gonna be okay. No, sis, like no, say your prayers, you know what I'm saying? Keep me lifted, just, I'm not. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with like high school and stuff and college and, oh, Lord, Jesus. I know it's a part of life, you know, we all gotta go through it, my mom went through it with me, but, um, I, yeah, I'm just not ready for all that that comes along with it. The problem is, you know, I'll fight a kid, you know, over my kid. I will fight a child over my child. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. And <laughs>
times I've had girls, they keep saying that, like, you know, these girls, you know, you want to fight these girls, take your earrings off and fight them. And I'm like, listen, it's, not, it's nothing to me. I wear studs. Like, I don't have earrings to take off. Let's go. I'm just praying for the best. I trust God. I believe God. I know, you know, our steps are ordered high. Mm, I know our steps are ordered. I know my child's steps are ordered. Y'all just keep me lifted. <laughs> Cause your girl is not happy about it. Then I'm mad I get a TV shot again. I hate TV shots. Like I'm not scared of needles, but TV shots. Money, money. Money, money, money. But in order to be a part of like you know going on field trips because I am that mom that will pop up at the school every year goes by fast we're about to be eating like freaking macaroni and cheese and, and dressing and all that stuff pretty soon I think it goes by a lot faster too when you have like absolute goals my goal this year was to drop some weight so, you know, you're always constantly setting goals and looking forward to this date and all that stuff. So I think that's one of the reasons why 2019 went really fast for me. All right, we about to be 2020. Like, that's freaking crazy. It's just so many things that are happening and so many life-changing things and just, like, it's just a lot. <laughs> a lot happening but anyway my hair feels really good i know we haven't been talking about hair i can feel the areas that i've missed and i can see the areas that i missed so i will be going back to felicia pretty soon if you don't know who felicia is then that means you did not watch my how i cut my hair video so check the video before this and you'll see who felicia is yeah y'all i just had to get some things off my chest and at the same time i wanted to restyle my wash and go so i gotta run a few errands oh another thing before i go i really and maybe you guys can help me down below in the comments um i really want to try something that helps with like anxiety and stress um i'm a person that i don't believe in medication for those type of things but then again i've never had to be on those type of things i'm a very like anti-medicine type of person like I, if i will go like with a headache for as long as i can take it because i don't usually get headaches for as long as i can take it because i just don't like medicines and i will always find like a natural alternative and test that out like i'm queen of herbs all that good stuff and um so i say i have to say like it's really hard for me to shut down at night and i really I'm trying to get more sleep i know i was taking magnesium before it's nighty night teas they don't work for me no, they don't, they don't do much at all. Like, not one bit. So if y'all have, like, any suggestions for, like, something along those lines, let me know. Don't be telling me it's smoke weed or nothing like that, okay? All right. I'm talking about, like, something that is natural that helps with, like, stress or anxiety and just calming your, your mind and your body, especially, like, around nighttime. Let me know in the comments because I am on this, the hunt for something to just help me in that area because it's really hard for me to just knock out like that unless i am like exhausted which are most days but um like i'm i have to be like exhausted oh so, yeah i'm gonna go handle my business and we're gonna come back in i'm gonna show you guys how my hair is looking and just to see like if my shape is still there and all that good stuff and um yes i'll be back